Have you ever thought of opening an Etsy shop? There's a way that you can sell the same kind of interiors that you make for Amazon KDP on your Etsy shop. So let me show you what I mean. Hello home bosses, my name is Maria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel which is all about helping you to make money online. And if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing so that you can get more videos like this. So today we're talking about Etsy and I think I told you in previous videos that I also run an Etsy shop and I just wanted to tell you what you can do with an Etsy shop. So if you are making low content books for Amazon KDP, you can actually turn those interiors into something that you can sell on Etsy as well. So Etsy is a really good a marketplace where there's lots and lots of customers already. Everybody loves to buy on Etsy and Etsy used to be for handmade items, which it still is, but you can also sell digital items or things that are maybe not handmade by you, but that are made to order. So this is where print on demand can really help and where you can create a really good income from selling on Etsy, even if you haven't handmade it as such yourself. But if you have made interiors for KDP, like planners, coloring pages, anything like that can sell really well on Etsy. And I just want to show you what I mean by that. So let's hop into the screen save and I'll show you. So we're now on Etsy and I typed printables into the search bar and this is what came up when I typed that in. So it's basically artwork and you can hang that on your wall so people can download it and hang it up. So you might have some nice covers that you can adapt to making them a printable size. Normally these are 8-4 and what's really popular is text-based images like this one here and uh, you can even make them so that you can customize them for people so people can can ask you what they want printed on there but you can just make ready-made printables that people can download and they would be downloaded as either PDFs or as JPEG files. And all you have to decide is what sizes you're going to make them. So let's just click on one of these to see. Let's click on this one just to have a look and see how they're offering this. This is a custom date print. So you can ask them what date you want on this. So they explain here, what do I get? You'll receive two copies at 300 DPI high resolution PDF file. So this seller is selling PDF files and not only are they selling PDF files, but they're also customizing them. But like I said, you don't have to do that. You can just make a ready-made printable. Let's go back and let's see a different example, maybe one that's not customized. So this one says, if only I had checked myself and they're selling this as a printable PDF. So you can see that in the description. PDF will be sent to you via Etsy message. You can also do that so that it's downloadable from Etsy. So basically you just, as a customer, you select an option and you select the size that you want. And then when they click on add to basket and they buy this, they can then straight away download it as a printable and they can print it off themselves or send it to a printer to, to print it for them. And this is very, very popular. And you can see they're pricing it at £6.50 and it's a downloadable file. So this is quite a good income because you can sell it again and again and again. And all the customer has to do is download it. You don't even have to ship it. You don't have to hold any stock. So easy to do. So let's have a look at some more examples. You can have lovely little posters for nurseries and you can personalize them. But again, you don't have to personalize them. You can just have a card like this one, for example. You can 
you can have cards as printables you can have this um, Christmas placemat let's have a look at this so this is like a coloring page they're selling them as placemats that children can then color in and it's got their name on it but again you can customize it but you can just sell it as a coloring page without the name of the child so they're selling them for one pound again very easy to do if you're making coloring books and you want to sell the pages individually on Etsy you can do that and they're quite popular so let's see some more examples and let's just type in coloring pages so you can see you can see what people are selling on Etsy so for example this one here cute kitty cats printable coloring page so it's just one coloring page selling at two pounds 77 if you're making coloring pages like that you know how easy it is making these pages if you're making them for your books on kdp and let's see what the description says for example this seller says um, this listing is for a printable version of the above image to be used as a coloring page so the customer has to print it off themselves and they can use it as a coloring page you cannot resell coloring pages so that people can't just copy them and sell them sell these themselves so make sure you have like something like that in your etsy listing that tells people they're not allowed to copy them and then they're telling them about the size this is an 8.5 by 11 inches they will receive two files a, a jpeg and a clear background png you could also do this as a pdf because they're coloring pages so very easy to do once the customer pays for this they can then download it directly from etsy it tells you here it's a digital download and the size and you can download it as a jpeg or png but there's plenty of people that also sell them as pdfs it's completely up to you so you can see how easy that is you can see how many coloring pages are being sold they're really popular on etsy you know it's just an extra income for you when you're making coloring pages for your kdp books you might as well put them on etsy and it's just an extra income for you not only can you sell coloring pages but there are other things as well i'll show you so let's just type in activity pages and let's see what we can find so you can also make puzzle pages you can make mazes there are so many things for children you can combine coloring pages and um, activity pages so you can make the alphabet to teach people how to how to um, color in the alphabet and teach them the letters at the same time there is so much you can do you can niche it to make like winter coloring pages there's a coloring page um, together with activity pages like mazes word searches so, so many things you can do and you can niche it like they have done for easter and they're selling this at three pounds so that's about four or five dollars it's it's a good sideline if you're making these pages anyway for your books so you can sell a lot of things and you can also sell digital items like digital planners let's show you what that is so a digital planner is a planner that is specifically made for people to download onto their iPad and they can use it together with GoodNotes. Usually they are designed to work with GoodNotes. I'll show you quickly. Let's click on this one, for example. So this is a digital planner. Um, so they're GoodNotes templates. They're dated and this is a little bit more difficult to make. You need to learn how to make a digital planner. But if that's the kind of thing that you're good at, this is something that you can look at and also sell on Etsy. They sell for much more money than the digital downloads. So this one is £10, 6 pence, which is actually quite cheap. I've seen some of them selling for £30, £40. So depending on what you're creating, and um, it's getting a little bit more busy there are a lot 
a lot more sellers that are selling these kind of things so therefore I think the prices have gone down but it's still a good option to sell on Etsy so digital planners if you learn how to make them that's another really good idea to sell on Etsy so what about if we just sell a printable planner let's have a look at that so these are just planners in the same way that you would make them for your KDP books. You can make downloadable planners. So let's just click on one of them. Let's have a look at this one. So you can see this is a printable A4 daily and weekly planner and it's selling for $2.99. Obviously, if you're selling 10 a day, that's um, 29 pounds that you've made in one day. So this can sell really well and it says it's an instant download let's have a look and see so they're selling them as digital files and you're getting three pdf files i imagine they're probably a4 yes they are printable a4 pdfs that people can download on uh, their own printer at home so this is what you're getting so what you do is you make a nice mock-up of your files to put on your selling page. It's another way to sell the files that you're selling on KDP as a printable download. And the nice thing about Etsy is that you can make them in color because if people are printing them off themselves, they can choose whether they want to print them in color or in black and white. And it just looks very nice sometimes to have something that you're selling in color rather than the black and white that we can do on um, on KDP. Let's see if I can show you another example. Here is a budget planner. So again, it's a printable budget planner. I imagine that you can even select colors. You can make them in different colors like this person has done and you can make them in different sizes. So you can have A4, A5, whichever size you want to offer. So let's have a look what the file type is so let's have a look so they're selling them as pdfs one high resolution pdf file it explains exactly what they're getting so this is another way to sell your planners you, not just on kdp but you can also sell them on etsy and you can see this sells for a really good price six pounds sixty and this shop for example has had nine thousand 236 sales so you can see how popular this really is so i hope that's shown you what you can do to sell on etsy how you can sell printables it's actually really easy especially if you are already creating books for kdp and if you're new to the channel and you don't even know what kdp is have a look at my videos. It's basically making low content books like planners, journals, notebooks, and you can upload them onto Amazon and sell them as books. And it's actually pretty easy to do. And in the same way, you can make printables, you can make coloring pages and activity pages like I showed you in this video to sell on Etsy. I have an Etsy shop and I sell printables but I also sell physical goods with a print on demand company that you can then link and I will make another video on how to do that but today I wanted to show you how you can sell on Etsy with the things that you are already creating for Amazon KDP so it's no extra work really you might have to adapt the files a little bit but other than that it's very simple and straightforward and the one really good thing about selling printables and downloadable files is there is not too much interaction with the customer in the way that for example if there are problems with delivery you don't have that because they just download it straight away over christmas there have been really bad problems with physical goods because they've been stuck in the posting system and when you offer digital downloads you just bypass all those problems and you don't have any shipping delays or anything like that and the contact with customers is minimal so you're not spending too much time answering emails or answering questions because it's very straightforward and if you make your listing really clear and you explain exactly what the customer is getting then you 
you won't get a lot of questions on the products either. So I hope that has helped you and has given you another idea on how to make money from home. And if you have any questions, why don't you join our Facebook group because I can answer your questions much better there than I can hear on YouTube. Sometimes on YouTube I miss some comments or there are so many comments nowadays that I can easily miss them and in our Facebook group there are lots of people helping each other so it would be really nice if you could join us there and if you have any questions and you want to tell us about your experience that would be really lovely. So let me know if you are already selling on Etsy, how is it for you and I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you for watching, bye bye.